Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Starting the reading, um, somebody that is either coming into your life or somebody that you may already know. Maybe this is somebody that you want to reconcile with, but they're coming up for a reason. Excuse me, some of you guys, this is, could be somebody new, but I do feel like this is somebody who, I'm gonna just keep it a, a book with y'all. <laughs> to you exactly how I'm seeing it. Um, this is somebody who's working on themselves or they're, they're being pushed to. I do feel like this is somebody who has dealt with a lot of like pent up emotions, anger even. Um, this is somebody at one point they could have lived in like victim mentality. Um, this person that has went through some form of judgment. And this person could have been somebody that was very judged in the past. They could have been looked down upon by other people or like, you know, just treated wrongly or... Maybe they feel like people didn't give them a fair chance. I do feel like this is somebody who has like fears that they have to like face at this time. Um, Something about releasing. This person had a fear of like, somebody had like an ex that cheated on them too. That was very significant. Um, I, I do feel like something about this person either still being connected to that ex or just connected to that situation as in like they're still holding on to what happened. I do feel like this is somebody who, again, they have wounds to heal, but they have to let go of a situation completely from the past. For some of y'all, this was someone who was still connected to an ex that they had trouble letting go of. This is somebody who wants new love or they want a different type of love. I'm not going to lie. Again, for some of y'all, I feel like heavenly, this is somebody that either you're meant to meet or you've already met that. Like now source is telling you possibly like why something like happened or maybe something like was on, on hold. I do feel like somebody's actually being pushed to kind of like take initiative. That's a main thing for somebody. Somebody was, they were waiting to, either this person was waiting or... It wasn't time for some of you, but other others of you, this is something about this person taking action. They they could have been a very passive person. They 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 were used to people coming to them, or they let things come to them. They're very passive. They let you know whatever happens happens, but you let time pass by or something for like some of y'all or something like that. Um, for some of you guys, um, this person felt like maybe people who didn't they had trouble committing themselves to them in the past. Something about commitment. This person could have had commitment issues where people were just left or something like that. But I do feel like this is somebody who feels incomplete at the moment. Um, but it's something about them needing to feel complete on their own. This could have even been for someone who placed their happiness on other people in the past. Okay. Yeah, somebody gave up on love. I feel like this is this person. For some of y'all, this could be you. Take what resonates. Flip the roles that they need be. But somebody feels very unloved. And I feel like this is more so like, I don't know, I'm getting unhappy. Like, for some of y'all, this could be like your your person, your person that's meant to be with. They, they, they felt like they were meant to be alone at one point or they felt like they were fated to be alone. They gave up on love because of something that happened in the past or they just were meeting people that were just disappointing. <laughs> um, my damn, my damn. But it says it's not true. I heard somebody's person could have like be very stable. I heard billionaire. Shit, I'm not gonna lie. That's not for everybody. I heard, I don't know. Somebody could be meeting somebody that's like rich. We got the tower here when I just cut the deck. This is not supposed to be in this deck with being guarded here. So something about somebody's having their defenses up or guard, but I'm actually getting with the tower. Because what does that look like? It's a dismantling, like something about somebody's walls being like let down or like you are going to be like sent to someone to break their walls down or something like that for some of you guys um you were meeting people that you possibly just wasn't compatible with in the past and maybe did cause you to feel unloved it's something about a tower moment towers come to be like as divine intervention when things aren't built on stable grounds or foundations this could come as like shocking news unexpected events um but i'm definitely with hiding feelings for some of y'all you're going to be very shocked about who actually has feelings for you who's been hiding their feelings for you this entire time that's what that tower is somebody that could have been for some of you i am feeling like this was your person they had a lot of things that they had to deal with this could have been a very demanding person they wanted things when they wanted they want i don't know for some of y'all they could have wanted their ass kicked at one point ass kissed i'm hearing or i heard ass kicked y'all could have felt like yeah, you must want your ass kicked <laughs> the way you acting but um i heard set the standard for many of you guys you could have had people that felt like you were very demanding because you set certain standards in your life um but yeah it's definitely like something about somebody's like guards being let down um because somebody definitely could have been hiding their feelings or hiding how they feel thus far it definitely could have been somebody that was afraid to open up that felt like they were meant to be alone until they met you like, this is somebody who gave up on true love or feeling like true love exists this could have been somebody that was procrastinating on coming towards you for some of you but too soon this came out of my like other reading too i was getting the energy of somebody falling in love and feeling like something that happens like maybe they were catching feelings for you too soon but it's like, how are you going to put it like, <laughs> for some of you, this hasn't happened yet. Like, you're going to meet this person and it's like a connection is going to take the fuck off. Like, don't be afraid when that happens. I'm here and go with the flow because it's just like a soulmate um, that some of you guys were meant to meet. For some of y'all, 
body shame. It's something about somebody's body for some of y'all. Somebody could have had like a body. Somebody could have like been very ashamed of like their body in the past or like they got body her dysmorphia. Somebody could have like or this like bodily like insecurities and like you're gonna help somebody to like really love their body again or this could be you you guys could have had like shame when it came to like but somebody that you're gonna meet some of y'all could have made, met people that made you feel like you were too much you 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 just too much your energy your the way you act the way you talk the way what whatever um to you just too clingy you just maybe you, you do too much somebody could have made you feel like something about your body was just you too much you just the way you dress is too much or your body size, whether you just too, you know, I could have made you feel like you was just too much or whatever. But I'm hearing like, um, again, this next person that you're meeting, again, something could really go, something could just, it could kind of take off sooner than someone is expecting with this tower and too soon energy. But make sure that you guys are not jumping into anything too soon. I'm hearing like trying to commit before fully knowing someone or knowing what someone wants. Or getting serious too soon in the connection. But I'm definitely getting like that could have been a thing though. Like somebody could have been afraid or they when they would rushing. Make sure that y'all not rushing anything. Yeah, definitely though. But I feel like with insecurities is more so what I'm getting. Like somebody's insecurities could have made them feel like something was being rushed. Um, or that like something was moving too fast. Or that uh, again is like it's just giving me doubts. With too risky, literally, it's giving me doubts. Like somebody felt like something was too risky. And for others of you, like I said, keep an open mind. This hasn't happened yet. But it's giving me that um with untrue stories. That's like telling yourself lies. Like somebody feels like something could be moving too fast or something that's not real. It's not um, I can't really find somebody that's loyal to me or that's gonna really wanna be for me. It says you tell yourself bad things, change your stories, and see the good things that can happen. Love is the answer. So if somebody hears something about love, somebody choosing love, choosing to trust love. Um, I'm hearing like you could feel like something is moving too fast or like you want someone is like people going to feel like maybe they don't understand the connection or this person just themselves could feel like they don't know what to do. But love is the answer. And it's something about somebody's negative self-talk that in the past, it really sabotaged some things for them. Um, it says you have to stop believing in love. Let yourself heal so you can be open again. Love sucks. Somebody really like lust, not love. You could have been like tricked in the past or people who did only want to shoot for your body, whether you were a male or a, a, a feminine or a woman or man, a man. It's just somebody here like you could have been coming into contact with many lustful people, again, with body shame to the point where, I don't know, maybe you felt like people only wanted you for your body or you felt unattractive. For some of you guys, maybe you had to work on accepting yourself, flaws and all. Some of you guys, you could have just felt like people only wanted you for your body or... It was more so lust than it was love. And it just it made you give up on love. But I'm hearing like you have to first love yourself. Flaws and all. And you're going to meet someone that loves you for all that you are. Your mental. Your spirit. Your heart. Your beauty. Your body. All of it. You're not going to. This person won't view you as being too much. I'm telling you, some of you guys, it's like you right now. It's just like you could feel like why is new love not coming in with hiding feelings. For some of y'all, somebody's hiding their feelings because you seem unapproachable right now. Um, Somebody could be trying to seem aloof or like they're not paying attention to you, but they are. Some of y'all need to come off more friendly, like more open because somebody could want to hit you up. I heard like somebody not even the types to possibly hit people up usually, but they're going to hit you up. Like somebody going to reach out to you. This person that's been hiding their feelings, this person that could be like kind of releasing certain things or like um this person i'm not gonna lie for some of y'all this is somebody who themselves at one point viewed themselves as like needing rescuing they could feel like they needed somebody to come in and rescue them or save them or like you know something was like but i feel like they're learning a lot of lessons themselves um i feel someone is working on how they express themselves especially like a lover that wants to either return or wants to come towards you to tell you how they feel somebody's working on like express expressing themselves um Somebody's learning a lesson about love. Somebody could have thought that in order for it to be true love or real love or real ride or die, you got to be like, it had to be like struggle love or it had to be hard. Like I saw 911, literally, uh -uh, that's a warning for somebody, literally. It's not, you don't know. That's not, let's change that pattern. That's also a generational pattern that we're also working towards breaking, feeling like something has to be hard or struggle love, or you got to like hurt in love and to prove your loyalty or prove that it's real. Mm -mm. I'm just getting here. Somebody could be wanting to like build a family or grow with someone um, and break like patterns and molds. But you don't. It's like somebody's view on love. You're helping someone to change their view on love. It's showing somebody that it's supposed to flow naturally. I'm hearing you're unthawing someone's heart. This could have even been somebody that struggled with certain patterns or addictions in the past for some of you. Um, somebody could even need to like get help. Like, 
it didn't come out but yeah somebody's fear of hurt caused them to kind of like keep them themselves to retreat to like go into their own energy You could have even had like um I, 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 a tendency to want to fix people in the past, but I'm more so get like this is um someone else who could have maybe this is somebody who thought that they could fix people in the past or they're now trying to fix themselves. They got Queen of Wands. Somebody's definitely working on themselves. Um, you make somebody like it. Nervous. Two of Cups. Four of Pentacles. Somebody's holding back on like the, the fact that they want a relationship with you, Queen of Wands. You could be a fire sign. This person could be a fire sign. With the Ace of Pentacles, the Sun card. It could be a Leo. You could be a Leo. But somebody is like wanting a relationship with someone. I know that's right. Somebody could like the color green, yellow. What's going on with this it's like a leo i heard that's been coming out of my readings the page of swords you could be a leo if somebody's watching you um something about your intuition somebody feels like you have a very powerful intuition with the hermit and the high priestess here somebody's watching you because they feel like first of all you bring them some form of happiness the sun and the ace of pentacles somebody could view as being very like stable somebody wants to bring you an offer here this person could be holding back on like bringing you an offer Probably find you to be very attractive again this is going to be something new that comes in for some of you guys with the eight of pentacles i'm telling you they want to work on something with you something about work work you can meet this person at work something you do for work could attract this person with the moon card falling out on top of the queen of wands so somebody's secretly watching you pisces cancer the empress so it's like somebody's views you as this empress you're about to get justice Somebody could secretly be like walking away from something else or another situation with the emperor here. Heavy Aries. It could be like an Aries masculine or feminine. It could be like two Aries. An Aries and a fire sign coming together. But somebody wants to take a leap of faith towards you. I feel like somebody viewed you as being like fulfillment. Somebody could be walking away from like a Leo or Aries to come towards you. Like somebody's coming towards you with the, the Hierophant. This could be like a... Some of you guys, it's like a aries because we got the king and queen of wands out here so this is like a match somebody feels like you're a match to them like two fire signs or somebody just views you as like a match there's a lot of chemistry a lot of passion between the two of you guys especially if you are single right now you got somebody looking at you at the knight of cups like wanting to come in for some of you six of cups this could be somebody that you know from a past life or somebody that you've met in this life but maybe you they never shot they shot with you maybe they had something going on that they needed to fully release like an ex or something they were still holding on to with the eight of wands i see they're walking away from that situation and they're going to be communicating with you because somebody definitely wants to pursue you baby fell out on top of the king of wands so somebody feels like they could be very victorious with you it could be a leo it could be two leos getting together or heavy leo because it's nothing but fire here so it's, it could be two leos or two very attractive confident very i heard driven people coming together mm, i don't know why i'm getting like it's a very attractive like and you got somebody focused on like healing themselves for you Somebody could view you as like matching their, just matching them. Again, especially like I heard like something sexually. Um, I, I do want to pull those cards because I was thinking about that, but I almost forgot. And it's crazy because maybe that's just confirmation. Ooh. Somebody is viewing you. Heavy Leo, though, be this is double Leo. And then we got the sun out here as well. So you can have like triple Leo or Leo trying. Somebody's just very like, um, a Leo Stellium, I mean, or I don't know, shit. Somebody gonna view you as the best of being very confident. Your confidence could be attracted to somebody. I'm actually getting your light. Something about the color yellow or gold. Somebody can have a yellow or gold aura, but your light is attracted to somebody. Somebody could want to have a son with you. Somebody could already have a son. Okay, let's go. Ooh. Yeah. 
Ooh, what says I self-sabotage our connections? For some of y'all, you knew this person, or maybe they didn't give it a chance. Maybe because of this issues that they've had, things that they've been having built up or things that they couldn't release. But I am very attracted to you. But this person feels like they sabotaged something between the two of you guys. Like I said, for some of you, you know them. For some of you, you don't. Because I'm not going to take that like as for everyone. For some of you, yes, you, you know this person. They feel like they ruined something. Maybe you knew them, but things didn't quite get off the ground. Or maybe you do know this person and it's like they're still viewing you as somebody that's like their person but they feel like they sabotaged it um but for others of you i'm just getting like you don't know them yet but this is something like when it comes in it's going to move kind of quickly and they're going to feel like damn like maybe they prejudged you or something or they're going to be like damn we should slow this down it says i want to spend more time with you and i hope you haven't moved on so for some of you guys this person still thinks of you they hope you haven't moved on they want to spill more to, i feel insecure around you so yeah some of y'all this person um but you are coming out as very like confident Especially if you are like a, a like a Leo or like dealing with one. Because even if this is like a Leo, I don't know why I'm getting that. You could think like Leos are very like confident. And maybe they are, but I don't know. Because I kind of get like somebody could be like, you would think that they would be confident. Especially they very like, they look good. Man or woman. Maybe you make this person very nervous. It says I'm scared to let somebody in. And it could definitely be because of like the last time they let somebody in. Or they thought that that was their person. Or especially if they look good too. Like yeah, this person like, mm -mm. I feel insecure around you. Like I remember the last time I let a bad bitch in. <laughs> Type of energy like, <laughs> no, nah, I'm just playing. But like somebody, <laughs> I mean shit, hey. Somebody could really feel like that. It says I love the way you dress. I want to commit to you. But you do have somebody thinking about commitment. And they like your sense of style, your fashion, the way you dress. Um, but this person does have fears that they're acknowledging their, their their insecurities, their fears to let someone in. And I do feel like it stemmed from a past relationship that they were in, um, especially like a certain ex that they they needed to let go of or a, a situation that they were still like clinging to. Not saying that they were dealing with that person, but they could have been. But it could have just been whatever transpired. They had trouble healing it and letting it go. It says, I don't like all the attention you get. Yeah, you get a lot of attention. I'm getting that with the Six of Wands, Strength Card. And this is a, somebody get a lot of attention with this son in the Six of Wands. Like, you could be in the public eye. You could just attract a lot of attention. A lot of people look at you as like, damn. And this person knows that. But it says, I know I need to work on. So they know that they need to work on themselves because that could be something that ultimately, like, pushes you away. Especially if you are, like, you know, you the it girl. You the it, whatever. Like, somebody around that will only make you feel like it's, like, dimming your light or, like, I'm not getting, like, it's in a, it's just a more so this, it's not in a way of, it's just this person is, po like, possessive kind of, but it's, like, it's because they're also afraid that, like, somebody else may be able to, like, catch your attention and, like, take it away from them type of energy. I'm not getting in a malicious way of, like, jealous as in, like, oh, I want to, like, stop anything that you got going on for yourself. But, like, um, you brought the life back back into my life. You really did something for this person. Like, you were, you brought a spark or awakening back into their life that maybe they were looking for or they, they gave up on. Again, something about y'all person giving up on love. And it says, you are wifey husband material. I'm telling you, this is somebody who I feel like they, they don't think this way usually. Like, because this is somebody who they did give up at one point on love. Or you could have gave up on love. But it's like now somebody over here thinking like, damn, I want to marry this person. Or I can see myself with this person. The whole time they be catching themselves like, what the fuck? Like, hold on. And it says, I spy on your social media. So for some of you guys, this is someone who spies on your social media. I keep hearing soulmate. I keep hearing soulmate. I love the way you dress. So for some of you guys, this is like a soulmate, but we're going to see what else comes out. But they do spy on your social media. They love the way that you dress. It's just somebody who is aware that they got things they got to work on. I feel jealous when I think about you with others. I ain't going to lie. This is a possessive person. kind of like it. <laughs> no, but they want, I want you all to myself. I swear. Like, I don't need nobody else. I swear. I'm selfish is what I'm hearing. I feel jealous when I think about you. This is somebody that when y'all meet, if you haven't met them yet, or even if you did meet them, in your skin, baby. In your skin, I'm here. I want to commit to you in your skin. And it's going to be somebody that was afraid to get that deep with you before. Because they're like, damn, if I open up, if I really, I'm going to fall for this person. Or damn, I already did. And I'm scared. Like, what they going to do with that? So somebody could have felt like maybe there wasn't the right time in the past. Or time apart could have been best. Or maybe even right now, like you guys still need to, it's something that this person still needs to work through. But this is definitely somebody who looks at you as being like wifey or husband material already. Off bat, I'm here. Or when they meet you, they will. But definitely this is i feel like you can see right through me yeah this person feels like you already know who was t or like you will when you look in their eyes like they can feel like you already know like that they love you or that they feel deeply and yes baby they do want to commit they could they want to commit this could be somebody that's afraid of like maybe the attention again that like maybe you get a lot of attention maybe what um other people would think of them or uh, what your people would think of it's something about this person being scared of Again, I'm scared of getting hurt, so I act like I don't care. Somebody could even act like they don't like you. They don't see you acting cold towards you, or I think you're so adorable. Somebody 
loves you i'm hearing from your head to your toes this person just really is afraid of opening like that door can you open up the door and let me in what's the song by tim's damn disturbance i think by tim's or interference or something like that disturbance. i think it's disturbance or something like that. i don't know but they feel so strongly about you they want you to something or you it's something about opening up and letting someone in but i feel like this is more so your energy you could want this person to open up to you but this person could be acting like right now they just don't care they don't see this connection baby they be watching your ass especially if you do something online i'm telling you you got somebody clocking your tea baby because this person is like her they falling for you more and more like this is someone who let me take you on a date you are the best i ever had because baby tonight tonight i let you know baby tonight tonight we lose control baby tonight believe that tonight i'll be the something or something like the best you ever had so somebody want to take you on a date let's give me think like a man because that's that song off of think like a man by steve harvey and taraji p has to play like lauren and the man she was more the independent one 21 111 that's what i saw so it's something about 111 but somebody want to be the best you ever had and this could even be somebody that felt insecure because maybe they had less than you because that's the reason why maybe that's coming up but Lauren was she like the ceo of the company or something like that or like i don't know or she was becoming this she just had a very she was more so a, a woman boss somebody could feel like they have less than you or like you're gonna judge them or like you're i feel like you're really gonna like somebody you guys are really it's like it's not about you know what i'm saying but yeah being around you make you make someone for some reason feel like insecure or like they don't have I, re, I repress my emotions this is someone who does not tell you how they feel i think you're very funny and i love the way you dress this card came out three times already or showed his face so somebody really really likes somebody's like sense of fashion or the way that you dress i love the way you carry yourself and i think you're very funny somebody really likes the way you carry yourself and they they, they, they just love you baby okay they, they damn near want to put a ring on it already and um something about the way that you dress so you could really really like you have a sense of like fashion or you stand out like with you express yourself through like your clothing sense or like your fashion and somebody really likes that um but baby somebody want to be the best that you ever had okay this is somebody who wants to take you on a date i do want to get a couple of my 18 plus cards up in here but it's, it's just such a lovely reading it's like should i naughty it up a little bit yeah i am <laughs> <laughs> but this is someone who i do feel like it's gonna take i'm not here like a long time but just give it time i don't care who hears us mm. this could even be somebody who's like very they like to hear you to be loud mm. but yeah, i just feel a lot of passion the only reason i'm pulling it from this deck too because that king of queen of wands came out and nobody else came out and um with the emperor so you got somebody this could even be somebody with the emperor energy that likes to like dominate or take control very sexual person i'm kind of getting or they don't have to be like sexual but like they very for you praise king you guys can have like a praise king like you like what this person says like good girl like good job or like that's my girl like oh let me stop <laughs> we got missionary because your face is pretty if somebody want to do a missionary because your face is pretty baby um ready to shoot the club oh yeah you got somebody that's gonna be i would say be careful y'all back to back orgasms i was feeling a lot of like i know what i was feeling so i'm like let me go ahead and tap in and see we got um breeding kink i have a kink of us being caught or seeing making love it's a turn on for me so somebody could want it, like y'all to be caught in action or like but that's like a kink for them. So I can have like a breeding kink with shoot the club of like this person want to get you pregnant. I don't know. Somebody could definitely already have like a kid or kids. For some of y'all. Or they want to just get you. Like you could be like this person's first. Like not first, but first and last for some of you. But it's something about like this somebody having a, what did I say, Dom? Yeah, I was picking this up. Whoever this person is, for some of you or the person watching, somebody's a dom. Somebody's a dominant. They like to take control. And I feel like, baby, you could be the more so. Maybe you like to be, hey, take control of me. Come on. <laughs> you like to be, like, dominated or, I don't know. Maybe you like to take, like, control to it. Hey, but. I'm here in skin, Rihanna. 
hollow on the ceiling. Um, oral fixations. Somebody really has like they like oral. They like when you use your mouth or they like to use their mouth. This person really wants to use their mouth on you. I'm here. Mm, somebody feels like people like taste good. This is a very spontaneous person for some of you guys. I love the faces you make when I'm inside of you. So for some of you guys, like, yeah, this person is like, when they come around, like, when you finally, like, I heard, like, it's not going to, I don't think that you guys want to do this right away. But when it finally does happen. Mm-hmm. So it's saying somebody feels like you belong to them, like that, that, that whatever you have down there belongs to them. Somebody likes to hear you though. Birthday sex. Somebody's birthday could be coming up. Something about having sex on somebody's birthday. Somebody could want to be with you on their birthday. Mm, I'm wearing, like that's the best gift, baby. Mm, yeah, work for it. So somebody wants you to work for that, like to make them or to get uh, like an orgasm. Yeah, somebody wants to explore every inch of your body. I feel like this is a very uh somebody who pays attention a lot, especially like to you. They're gonna pay attention to like your body. I miss your body and the sex. Or so somebody could you could have already had sex with this person for some of you. For those of you, I was feeling like strongly that you haven't. Even if you already knew this person, I was kind of feeling like you haven't. But for some of you, you could have. Um, but it says let your guards down. Heavy on like, yeah, one of y'all were like very guarded. You could feel like this person is still guarded or vice versa Um, when you meet them or when you come back into contact with them. But it says I love when you whimper and moan. I want to make love to you and keep you in my bed forever. So somebody definitely wants to keep you in a bed forever. I want to make love to you. All I want to see you. And somebody wants to have like car sex. Yeah, something about a safe word. This person definitely be like pleasuring themselves to you. And they feel like your sex is very healing. I was picking up on that like too. Like you are, you have like a very sexually healing energy. Um, somebody says put a vibrator on your clit while I'm in it or hitting it. So somebody wants you to put a vibrator down there and make it extra juicy and wet. <laughs> Why they in it, or are they hitting it, or why they doing what they do? This person freaky, freaky, freaky. Somebody could be into like three songs. Somebody says nothing is off limits. Somebody can want to utilize every entrance. <laughs> and nothing is off limits, like literally. I do feel like once you and somebody connect sexually, that's going to be it I'm hearing. Somebody gonna be like, it's somebody feels like something about sex, like sexually, like it's gonna activate or like heal something within them. Don't run, baby, take it. Got a creamer. So somebody could be a creamer here. I love seeing you in lingerie. This person's gonna want to see you dress up for them, be in lingerie. Somebody could like role playing. It says put your face in it. So again, somebody really likes oral, or like you could tell this person like to put their face in it. You can want to put, like, just, here, just put, your, put they face in it. Just do what you're saying. Just put, mm. like, I have my baby here. So somebody definitely is, like, going to want to get you pregnant. We already saw that this person sees you as, like, a wifey already, a husband material. They could have, like, a breeding kink for some of y'all when it comes to you. Um, I'm definitely getting down. Don't come until I say so. Like, somebody going to be the type that, like, you can't come until, like, I tell you. Like, hold it. Mm. But somebody definitely wants you to hide. Look, spank me, like. You could like that shit. Like, you like, yes, spank me. And they gonna spank you. This is somebody who may be like, oh, you've been acting up. Okay, I got that. I know how to fix that. Like, he said, switch it up so it's never born spontaneous and fun. Like, you guys could be very, like I said, this person is gonna be very spontaneous. And it says, it'll be the best night ever. Baby, two nights tonight. What? What do you say? The best you ever had, John Legend. So somebody really is like something about like you're gonna it's like something about this person, especially when y'all first have sex. Like this person is gonna be it. Hmm. And again, at first this person could have thought it was lust between the two of you guys, but they're seeing like, yeah. It's like you are the full package. Um, and again, this person definitely be pleasuring themselves to you guys. But I feel like it's not just gonna be the best night for you, but for them as well. It's giving one like 
Bella told Edward, like, you know, shit, well, I enjoyed myself. I don't know about you. And he was like, that's what you're worried about? You think I ain't enjoy myself? He said, that was the best night of my existence. And that wasn't just the best night of, you know, of in a while. That was the best night of my existence. So that should give you some closure, okay? So definitely, somebody in you are going to have a, like, a night of bliss and, like, back-to-back -back orgasms. And we got car sticks out here again. So something about a car, like, somebody could pull up on you and, like, mm. Guilty pleasures. So definitely. For some of you guys, it's like you could be this person's guilty pleasure. Because we all know you guys can explore each other's guilty pleasures together. The role play here. Definitely. It's giving like little things that like maybe I don't know, you guys gonna be doing together, like acting like you don't know each other, or like, oh, you know, I have a wife that's out of town right now. But the whole time you are the wife, but you guys are role playing, that could be like a guilty pleasure for someone like cheating, but role playing cheating or something like that could be like a guilty pleasure. Some of these cards are turned the wrong way, so I just want to turn them around really quick. And then we got to put it all in your mouth, sexting. Yeah, you and this person could do a lot of, like, sexting. I'll make you tap out. Um, I love you, baby. The sex is just a plus, but the love comes first. So this is definitely somebody that wants to remind you at the end of the day that they're going to be, first of all, so attracted to you yes on a physical level but that's just a plus they may want to sexualize they may want to again this could be somebody that's very sexual they're very attracted to you somebody could have only fans um but this is somebody who they at the end of the day they value the love between the two of you above it all um i love how your kitty feels on my so for some of you guys somebody if i'm getting definitely um I'm, I'm gonna just tell you exactly what i'm getting to we got real flexible fun positions look me in my eyes and i will pleasure you um but I definitely get what I'm hearing is for some of you guys, you're don't you're gonna misread a situation or someone is going to try to send you off about how they feel about you. They're gonna to try to make you feel like, oh, I don't like you. This person fucking loves you. Or they are they 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 damn near right there, or they ain't gonna take much more, or something like it's like somebody's afraid to be hurt. This could have been somebody that was just previously hurt in a situation. I'm telling you, somebody's going to try to like maybe push you away or get you to feel like, oh. I don't like you. I don't fuck with you. Or I don't know. I'm not saying like, oh, be nice to someone who's clearly saying like, I don't fuck with you. Like, but I'm just getting like somebody's trying to protect their heart at the end of the day. So they may end up pushing you away or they don't feel like, damn, I sabotaged or like, damn, this person don't want me. But whole time, this person really, really does want you the whole time. But this is someone who they're just afraid of getting hurt themselves um so this is something that could even start off a little complicated or they're dealing with some form of complications in their life but i'm telling you right now this is actually ultimately is going to be fulfillment for the both of you because you guys belong in each other's life we're belonging here something is really like coming into view with the moon but it's like hidden right now but it's not going to be like i feel like you and someone else are meant to meet each other with honesty here literally somebody's going to want to be honest with you a lot of moons here represents revelations things being revealed truth also psychic insights like somebody may be dreaming of you getting like truth through from their spirit guys through dreams they like this could be somebody for some of you who is spiritual as well or like who has certain gifts or like they get certain dreams or you know they we all have an intuition shit um if somebody was keeping themselves stuck I'm definitely getting like almost like closed off like they were afraid to move forward and new connections like okay i'm just gonna be somebody could be like i'm gonna be single forever or i'm gonna just you know i'm not fucking with relationships or and their intuition could have been telling them like no 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 you know there's more somebody needs to meditate i'm here and ground your energy with the high priestess of earth and meditation out here that's two grounded energies are very earthy very like tapping in um remember your self-worth self-love falling back into love with yourself 
again, you guys are going to be coming off as very grounded to somebody that you meet who could be in an energy of almost like they're afraid to open up. Like this person is afraid to get back out there or, you know, but I'm feeling like it's because they're going to fall so head over heels for you too. But it's also because of something that happened in their past and you're very different than anybody this person has met with confidence and individuality. This is what they're going to be shown with difference. You and this person could be very different, but also very alike in certain ways. But you see black cat, white cat, orange, apple, like you and this person could differ in many ways. We got the high priestess of water. It could be like a water sign, a water, a water sign. You could be like a water sign with earth in your chart or a fire. Oh, shit. I mean, we saw those fire energies. So somebody could be a fire sign or you could be an earth sign or a water sign or earth and water could be significant. Again, you could be a water sign with fire or earth sign with, why do I keep saying fire? You could definitely be a water sign with heavy fire placements or you could be an earth sign with water or a water sign with earth. Thank you, source. Or a fire sign, because again, I kept saying fire, and those fire signs came out earlier. So it really doesn't matter what sign that you are. I see something being very successful that's coming in. Like spirit is guiding two people together with the high priestess of spirit to listen to their intuition. Um, or that's my ice machine with loyalty here. Literally, somebody could need to listen to their intuition when it comes to like someone that's very loyal coming into their life. Or that they've already met. Like somebody could feel like everybody just disloyal because of maybe somebody that was disloyal to them in the past or just things that have happened. But I feel like, listen, with message and um, success, somebody's going to message you here and something's going to be very successful between you and someone else. Something or someone that you've been wishing for. And somebody was in denial. Somebody could even be trying to act like they didn't want this. It's giving like the forbidden fruit, like acting like they don't want you, but whole time they fucking do. Fuck out of here. With lust. Because I'm telling you, somebody could have felt like, okay, I'll have sex with that person or it's just lust or I just, you know. But it ain't more than that. Oh, it's more than that. Everything. Yeah. It's everything. Like, somebody could even feel like, I'm telling y'all, somebody could even, like, rejected their person. Or acted disinterested. I'm here. Acted cold. But it was all a lie. <laughs> with the magician here, it was all a lie. Like, literally, it was all a lie. Like, somebody could be, like, stressed now because of, like, what did I do with the lovers here? Heavy Gemini, the magician and the lovers. Somebody could feel like, oh, my God, like, the, the person that I wanted to manifest, or this is someone that, I, like, literally, this is how, like, they view you. But they could have been acting very the sword is towards you it just closed off towards you but this person like somebody who is in their feelings could be a gemini and somebody regrets it. it could be a scorpio because somebody could feel like they did sabotage a connection or that you don't want them anymore or something is over with the ace of swords yeah but somebody's going to want to speak to you i am seeing communication come in for some of you guys from another person um who has been watching you or that you will be meeting um, this is someone who views you as the Empress towards Libra. This could be the Empress wanting to come towards some of you guys. If there was like a third party, we got it coming out. I don't get that there is anymore with the Ace of Cups. Or if there was somebody else that this person was like hooked on, connected to a situation from the past. Ace of Cups. This person is throwing that out. This person is in love with you. You got somebody over here that's wanting to possibly tell you how they really feel about you. And again, um. This person is like going back and forth on it if they should. I ain't gonna lie. Like I said, it was a situation for some of y'all that they were holding on to. This person could have had like another person that they were dealing with, another option, X. An X um, in particular, or they were very confused on like if they should let a situation go or like which to invest in or something like that. It could have been like a lot of conflict or arguments that this person was dealing with prior or just some type of situation that really conflicted them mentally. Um, but I do feel like this person is being guided to move in a new direction, especially towards you, because I feel like it's gonna, the chemistry is going to be off the charts. Um, especially sexually, like our sexual healing, the Ace of Wands and the Star. Somebody's going to want to invest in you. I'm hearing once they come towards you, ain't no going back. Whoever they leaving behind in the past, ain't no going back. The Three of Wands, literally future moving towards you somebody may have to like travel towards you with the scissor swords and i'm gonna stop there something about a boat a yacht somebody could want to take you on like a yacht um a, 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 a cruise i'm hearing a cruise somebody really wants to help you like to heal and relax and vice versa or something like that but i'm definitely getting like this person is definitely doing some form of releasing themselves they are viewing you as being a new love or something like that somebody's definitely feeling like some new feelings for you are like growing or evolving 
Um, I do see a very healing connection coming into view for somebody in the future with the Three of Wands, the Star card, Ace of Wands. In the Six of Swords, we have the Four of Swords, two very healing energies. Like somebody could feel like you're very healing or um, they've been holding back on someone that's like they could be very healing for them. This could have even shocked somebody like, I don't know, you could even be getting an apology from somebody possibly because they held back from you or like they didn't tell you how they really felt about you. I'm just getting that type of energy. Like this is somebody who could have just definitely judged y'all, my gonna lie, or acting like they didn't see you for who you are, that they weren't interested, but that was like a fucking lie. Like, yeah, somebody is looking at you as like, damn. You may be surprised as to like who has had you on their mind or who's been like watching you or sitting here wanting to shoot the club or all types of stuff. But I'm not getting, again, just remember it's not just like lust, but this is someone who they be going through the motions, okay? And this person feels like, like sexually too, it would be like the best. Like you two would really stimulate these. This is an, ex an expert when it comes to your body. Like this is somebody who's going to know you, know your body know how you like it know where your spot said like again they're gonna study you they're gonna learn you very attentive um listen to me it says you know my spots baby what did i say it's like everything just be so everything if y'all notice in my readings it just be y'all i swear like i saw smoke but it's nothing smoking up in here A sp okay spirit i don't know so you want to have somebody whipped i feel like that's confirmation though Somebody's gifts could be like, um, like stuff floating and shit. Somebody could be like whipped. Your shyness turned me on. You could be a little shy or this person. Y'all could be even like, this person could definitely could be a little shy. Shit, man or woman. Somebody definitely needs to learn how to take a like initiative or be more assertive. But you could really be like turned on by somebody's shyness or vice versa. But somebody's going to be whipped on you, child. They're going to be whipped. Okay. I'm here like people, this person's friends, family. People going to be like, damn, what's happening to this person? Like, what the hell? Hello, princess. I like to do the satisfying baby doll. So, like, somebody gonna run at you to just sit back, relax, and kick your legs up, literally. <laughs> no, seriously. But somebody's, <laughs> somebody's gonna really want to satisfy you, okay, baby? Like, this is gonna be somebody like pillow princess, passenger princess. They're gonna wanna do all the work. They're gonna wanna take care of you. This is somebody who really is like a, a nurturer. Like, this is somebody who really wants to make sure their person is like feeling good looking good doing good like i feel like this is somebody who's like a real life provider or like they're going to take care of you no matter what you're into whether it's just like you know you you into men or you're into the same set whatever you're into i just feel like somebody's going to want to take care of you and it says hearing about your past turns me on so somebody could like to hear about like how you were like with other people sexually or like maybe somebody again like you could do things like with i don't know You could speak to this person about like your past or something like that, or like maybe they. Mm. But we got tongue kissing here. The distance makes me um uh, want to crave you even more. It definitely could be like distance, long distance here. And it's making this person want you more. You could feel like okay, they wouldn't want me because of the distance, or like nah, baby. It makes them want to come to you. It makes them want to pull up and find you. Uh. But you guys could sex a lot. I'm hearing like especially if this is long distance, like a lot of sexting to keep it like. You know, things very, you know, spicy. Okay, uh, why do all those cards just fall? Y'all are bogus. <laughs> whisper in my ear. So somebody wants you to whisper something in their ear. I don't like all that whispering. Now. No, but I do. It depends, you know, you just... <laughs> I'm just playing. We're going to see. I don't even know if I want to take all of these. There's just so many. What are you willing to do, man? Fuck your pride. Just taking on back. So that's their Rihanna song. Um, what is it called? I don't know. What are you willing to do? But somebody wants to know, like, what or you this could be y'all, like, what are you willing to do? Like, am I gonna take you back? What are you willing to do? Like, what are you willing to Yeah, somebody gonna show you like how sorry they are. <laughs> Vibrator panties, FaceTime me that. Mm. Yeah, somebody wants you to like something about sexing, FaceTiming. Or showing things on FaceTime. It says, why you playing? You know you want this. So somebody feel like you could be playing with them. And it says, fuck you in your suit and tie. Somebody could be the type of wear like suit and ties, business attire. Like this could be a businessman or a business person. Don't come until I say so. Dominatrix, I love when you take control. Some of y'all, 
you could be the dominant one okay or like of oh, the woman is the dominant one somebody likes to be dominated whatever you're into i don't know it's the essential sexual romantic music to set the mood somebody likes to listen to music to like set the mood when they're like doing it or like when they're in the mood or something like that you could do anything you want to me yeah somebody is like they so turned on to you i'm hearing this they don't they're not gonna tell you no <laughs> sex with with you so amazing um the sex with me is amazing with her it'll feel all right somebody feel like you cocky when it comes to like your sex game too or like you know your shit good i'm hearing so like what are you willing to somebody could feel like you teasing them or like you you're challenging them you're a challenge for them sexually or something like that somebody could like that in you it says it was just sex it meant nothing i don't know if somebody mm. oh because i was gonna say I, don't, I didn't get nothing throughout this whole reading about like cheap. somebody could have i don't know somebody did cheat but i was more so getting with this card like somebody could have told themselves for some of y'all who did have sex with this person that it was just sex it was nothing but whole time they couldn't get you off their mind they kept thinking about you they kept like checking your page trying to see what you're doing thinking about if you was with somebody else if you did that to somebody else how did you learn how to do that like or just because we with somebody gonna be thinking like somebody could even try to fool themselves like it's just sex you know you know it ain't mm. eating your ear out somebody could like the Make out with your ear. Like, I don't know if y'all ever had that before, but if you know, you know. <laughs> so we got going rounds. I don't get tired. Like, this is somebody who got stamina, baby. They got that stamina. This could be somebody who practices like semen retention or like they 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 practice like not, you know, orgasming or something like that. Like, and they got they got they got time. Okay, or they, they just got they don't get tired. Possessive. No one else can have that. I hate the thought. Ooh, like I said, I knew it though. This is somebody who's very possessive. I just knew it. Like excuse me i could just feel it in the energy like this is somebody who and again they're very dominant they're not gonna want to share you i don't care like they they not gonna want to share you like this is somebody who's big on like not sharing their person i'm getting now for some of you guys who could have been into threesomes now like, that's different but i feel like this is someone who for some of you they're just going to want to cap you to themselves. Like, it, okay, beyond, like, the sex too sore from the night before. Yeah. Yeah, we got a rim in here. Somebody may like, like, whoa. Mm. Yeah, we got same sex. So, for some of y'all, this is, like, a lesbian or, like, somebody could be, like, gay. Which would definitely make even more sense. But somebody is, like, look. I thought this was nothing. I thought, look, Falling Fast is already in this at the bottom of this deck. Because like I said, it came out of my last reading or one of my other readings. Not the last one, but I just feel like this is going hand in hand. It's all still being confirmed with Destiny. Like, somebody's supposed to be in your life. They could feel like they were falling too fast. Or they're going to feel like this when they meet you. Like, things are just moving too fast. Like, slow this motherfucker down. Like, or, like, the way that they are feeling for you. Like, it's almost like they're going to try to deceive themselves or be in denial about the way that they feel so that they won't get hurt or so that they won't i heard like i don't want to fool myself no more because this person could have thought that again like maybe they thought they had the creme de la creme in the past and it's like that person got could have felt like they got played or they could have felt like something just went turned sour i feel like something is going to happen the way it's supposed to though that's what i'm getting a proposal and time i see this it reminds me of same sex or some type of like maybe a lesbian connection for some of you guys somebody's going to want to like be serious about you um this is not somebody that's going to want to come in and like play with your heart because i heard like they had their heart played with before with celebrate and nurture so they're really going to want to celebrate with you have fun with you her good times laugh it's giving asap and like rihanna energy and this person's going to really want to nurture you and you know how like Rihanna went through like that tough like dark past with like you know her past and like Chris and like everything that happened like I'm, I really feel like Rihanna is like divine royalty um and that's why she became like a billionaire but but she had to learn to heal herself and love herself if you watch her interview with like Oprah she was talking about the type of love she wanted and how she knew it would take her loving herself and valuing herself to even get that type of love so for some of you that is significant um with illusions here somebody could now be like seeing through a lot of illusions in love or in like the heart matters of the heart um what's coming in for my collective we got unseen individuality so somebody you don't even see that this person is like admiring your individuality um i'm definitely seeing like you it's almost like somebody wearing a mask like a secret admirer here you may not see this person um again you stand out 
make sure that you're not overlooking any people's red flags and the, with the illusions here. Like you guys could have been overlooking people's red flags or people that maybe you wanted in your life at one point, but then you realize these people were not good for you. These people just are almost like you were filling a void with these people with voids here, but you are very different. You stand out. Be wary of like possessing people who may want to change your individuality or change who you are at core or what makes you you or because you, you get a lot of attention for some of you guys. Um, I am getting, again, this person is going to be, it says very, they are possessive. No one else can have you. Um, I feel like it's not going to be bad. Like, um, this person is not going to try to change you, though. This is not somebody that's going to try to be possessive and change you. This is somebody who's just not going to want to share you with other people. But they're not going to be the type that's like, okay, look, again, something about a proposal. And again, I mean, I'm getting heavy, like, same sex for some of you. That's not everybody. Some of y'all going to be married like a man. If you're a woman, you're going to marry a man if that's what you're into. If you're into women, then okay. Like, damn. I don't see why people... It's Anyways... It's just sometimes, I don't know. I just don't know. With wedding. So that's very fitting. But first comes the proposal, then comes the wedding. So definitely somebody can even want to like be engaged to you. They already view you as like a wifey, a husband. And you are attracting the hell out of this person. This is somebody who's again going to want to celebrate. We had the celebration card come out. It could be like a wedding. You're on the white, white. You're on the right. Somebody's last name could be white. You're on the right path though towards romance. So this person could already be in your life, or you're headed towards them. This is giving me. I am getting like this person for some of y'all. Whoever you're watching this reading for, or this whoever's coming to mind, like this is like the person like you're meant to like marry or something like that for some of you. Or some of y'all, y'all don't know who you're meant to marry. Like you don't know this person yet. But I am getting like, it's almost like you're being guided, like you're walking towards like, and the source is just reminding somebody that you're actually on the right path or again, somebody could be dreaming of their person. Like I said, it's an ex that somebody needs to let go of. Somebody needs to release that baggage from the past or fully release from that hurt from the ex or um, they could still be holding on to an ex either hoping for like another chance, hoping for like change but it's like a situation could just be over and they're they're needed to move on and be free or it's like somebody could still be like involved with like an ex i think i hot again because it's almost like it's holding somebody back from their true love like whatever this ex energy is that could have been like yeah if somebody's trying to attract their true love into their life some of y'all this could be an ex who wants to attract you back into their life but we got long distance and that other card was talking about how like um something about distance it said i don't know if somebody feels like uh Again, like the distance mean nothing to them. I'm trying to find out where that card was. Let's see, it's something about distance. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, the distance makes me want and crave you more. So somebody feels like there definitely could be some form of long distance between the two of you guys. You guys could be at a distance from each other. You guys could live in two totally different like the domains or like places. And this person like that ain't stopping them. It says love knows no distance. It trans it transcends time and space. This is somebody who would travel to you. If they got to like they they. That's how much they want you. That's how much they crave you. And it makes them want you even more, especially if there is like a distance thing. Like again. It, Turns them on. Yeah, this person is the type who, when they want something, they they not gonna let nothing stop them with anticipation. You and this person could be like anticipating this connection or something new coming in, and you both could feel the pull of something new, um, aligning with passion. Like again, it's gonna be so much passion. Like I just get like a fiery energy between the two of you. One more, alone time right now. You guys could be spending some time alone. It's going to help you gain some clarity, it says here. It's even be about, like, maybe some type of baggage that you need to release so that you can move forward towards, like, a true love energy um, with Butterfly here. Definitely. Like, somebody's being pushed to kind of, to grow, to expand, to transform. It says you're going to meet a new love interest. So, some of you guys are going to meet this person when you're out, maybe at a night out, at a party. It's something about a date night that's significant. Somebody's going to meet somebody after, like, they go through, like, some type of heartbreak or a change with the Wheel of Fortune, Pisces energy here. And it's not over. It's like something is, um, 
something new and long term with someone else is actually meant to be in your life with the ten of pentacles this is somebody you're going to grow old with this is somebody you're actually possibly meant to grow like a, a legacy or something with with the lovers but the ten of pentacles is the energy that grows over time something that you grow ten of pentacles is like a very abundant energy so again rihanna asap like the energy of she had to love her so she had to go through those situations in the past so she could grow so she could find herself um and then there's somebody that's always going to be waiting on you that's meant for you no matter what level and she has more than asap but at the same time they're still meant to like build a legacy together they're still meant look the star somebody could be like seen as a star or your person could feel like you get more attention than them you're in the spotlight you're more abundant but i just feel like this is if it's for you it's for you because it could be still equally yoked in different ways it's not always about it's just something where you and your person just feel like are going to complement each other really well you're going to grow together I feel like you and your person are no longer interested in like low level, low vibing, connect, low vibing connections. People who are not giving you enough. Um, literally, that's that's over with. Like, with the with the full card, like somebody's intuition is actually guiding them towards a new healing, beginning with like a lover or like with a chariot. We got Pisces, Cancer, or Aquarius heavy aquarius out here with the fool and the star something that someone is going towards i heard you're about to get communication from this person for some of you they're going to take a leap of faith somebody could get a lot of attention you or your person with the chariot the star card like somebody's going to take this leap of faith they could have been a little nervous to do this um this is someone who i do feel like you both are going to be transforming together seven of wands and you both are going to be protective of each other on here but especially like this person over you Something about this person being... Don't take it the wrong way, though. I'm feeling like some of y'all... You're not... I don't feel like you're going to be, like, kind of bothered by it. But just a heads up, like, this person is going to be protective over you. Um, They are possessive. Um, I'm here, like, don't play on that. But I don't feel like you will. Because this is someone who's not going to, like... You know, they're not going to want to see a lot of people. Like, ah. It's not in a way of, like, oh, don't talk to much. But it's, like, mine. <laughs> but uh they know that you are somebody especially if you are in the public eye like you could do something where you get a lot of attention naturally well this is gonna have to let you kind of like bloom or be yourself they're not gonna try to dim your light is what i'm hearing okay uh, or they're not gonna run to third parties because you get a lot of attention like this is not somebody that's gonna be like that this is somebody that's gonna be healed they could still be healing right now like i said um but i'm definitely getting six of swords three of wands things are going to be moving into common waters with you and a lover or a connection in the future okay this is something that's very divinely guided and again it's giving me future energy i don't get that this has already happened for some of you it could have but um just keep an open mind um to who may be coming into your life or who you may be meeting and again for some of you guys it's going to scare somebody because something is going to move really fast it's, it's going to move really fast and i feel like right now is not the time to keep give a fuck about what anybody is saying like this person is definitely focusing on healing this person feels like you bringing life into their life or a light back into their life i am thinking about reaching out what did i tell you guys something just told me to pull i look at your pictures on my phone like somebody be scrolling on your page online always looking at your pictures you can have pictures of you saving their phone this person is thinking about reaching out to you but again this person really like loves your sense of humor or something like that like they laugh at the things that you say but heavy on like this message that you're about to receive from this person for some of you i feel like they're working on their emotions or opening up emotionally like i said this person does have they do have wounds that they're aware of like i'm not even gonna lie that they are dressed very head on but they are very attracted to you and i'm not gonna lie this person could need to stop venting to other people it's something about either they vent to other people or they ask other people's opinions or like it says, I want to talk to you, but I don't know what to say. So somebody could be very conflicted about what, the, what should they say to you, what, if they should say something to you, should they reach out. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Somebody going to ask like a friend or somebody, a family member. And I don't know. I don't know why I feel like somebody family member going to tell them like, oh, no, don't do that. Like somebody needs to think for themselves. Somebody needs to have a mind for themselves or like don't listen to like what a friend is saying or like a family member. Or somebody could be watching me or like, I don't know. I don't know why I feel like the need to like say that. I just feel like somebody could ask somebody like, what should I say? Or should I reach out to this person? Or like, oh, look at this person. Like, you know, this is my crush. Should I say something like somebody could want to, I want to make you smile. Like they want to put a smile on your face. They want to make you happy. They want to reach out. Like they want to be different and be seen by you. And somebody could tell this person, look, I want to commit to you. Like, oh no, you know, you just got, you know, you just got out of that one relationship, you know, a while ago. And like, you know, you don't just, that person look like a player. That person look like, you know, that it's just, this person, somebody don't need to be asking what they should do when it comes to you. They should follow their heart. I am, I just feel like I find you intimidating and it says I regret my previous actions. So if this person was acting like they were uninterested, it's because they were intimidated by you. They were afraid to let you in. And I'm telling y'all, um, yeah, I, I know I need to work on myself. They know this. 
this is not somebody who is ignoring the fact that they have a lot of baggage that needs to be worked on emotionally that they need to unpack like this is somebody who again they, they know that um i am going to close out what am i going to close out with But yeah, this is somebody who they're aware. They're aware. Well, aware. But they do find you to be very intimidating. I got to just get that. You're going to be teaching someone that love exists, that it's, you know, you don't have to give up on love, right? When you thought that maybe love didn't exist or that everything is just all else fails, like, then this is when somebody makes you feel again. I'm hearing, um, I live by One Republic, I think it's called, like, something about somebody realizing, like, um, they've lived a, a full life. Somebody could be, like, like, mm, they've went through a lot in life. This is, like, a individual who... No matter how old they are, like, they are learning a lot. They've experienced a lot. And it's just like the, when they run into you, it's just giving, like, a whole another like, ball game, but in a good way. But, like, somebody's going to be able to say that they, like, lived a full life with the young. Some of you are meant to have, like, children with this person. Somebody could be, like, healing the inner child right now. But I'm definitely getting this person could need to focus on healing their inner child because of these wounds that they have. Somebody has a very youthful spirit. This person is going to love that about you. They're definitely going to match that. We got swans on here that represents love. We got the blessed union here. So I'm already knowing this is soulmates. You guys are mentioned. You and this person are going to see each other. Um, whether it's re reuniting or just coming into contact for the first time. But it says meant to be together. A love that transforms in a divine mission together. With the return here for some of you guys. Yeah, this is somebody that you know. They're going to be coming back around um, because you guys have a divine mission together. For some of you guys, you guys are meant to like have kids with this person. Or you could have a kid with this person. But this is not over um, some of you guys um you're meant to like transform or do something together like this is going to be very powerful and healing religious factors spiritual lessons it was a lesson that needed to be learned um you guys could have different spiritual beliefs or some of you guys could be spiritual and this person is as well but i do feel like this person daydreams about you a lot and things are on hold right now is telling me but i am seeing again this is something that's going to move forward um for you guys yeah, this is like a higher mission between you and this person oh my god i'm not picking that up but i already saw it so it's like you guys are in an energy of like not playing around about your your boundaries or what you want anymore with sacrifice left out in the cold yeah you guys are leaving people out in the cold you know it's going to take you sacrifice and look trouble lurking nothing but red flags like it says red flags lies and deception bad intentions you know that you had to leave somebody out in the cold that was possibly like lying or deceptive somebody could have been like a heartbreaker they had many love interests they didn't want to settle down this could have been somebody this could be for some of you current time it says an ongoing battle or your person was dealing with this this is why something could be on hold but it says hurt in a past relationship somebody may not be dealing with other people but they could be holding on to past hurt from past relationships that broke their heart um, but somebody definitely has soul gifts it says here divine plan and align with the universe you're very aligned with the universe and it's time for you to awaken to your soul gifts because this is the part i'm hearing god's plan drake somebody could be in their 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 um their emotions right now i couldn't even get it out i want to say fears tears like i had so much that i was coming to my mind like somebody could be like in the energy of just feeling like all over the place or they i heard transmute that shit creativity somebody could be throwing everything that they feel into like they they art their, their purpose their creativity i'm hearing for some of you guys you don't know it but your person is watching you while they're going through a breakup or something heartbreaking and like you're amused to this person you're helping to inspire them you're helping to kind of like give them a creative boost or spark and they could have felt like they were at an emotional defeat or loss um but it is like somebody may be meeting you and like the perfect timing or like it's just giving here like somebody you could even have a strong urge to express yourself at this time it's because your gifts are awakening for many of you guys again it's like being being in your purpose is very important for this union as well because you're meant to be in your purpose when you like meet this person or something like that again you guys are going to be like celebrating with your person with the miracles you could feel like somebody could feel like it's a miracle to have you back or it's going to take a miracle to like have real love or you know love don't exist it would take a miracle somebody's going to see that miracles exist and it says blessings are surrounding you miracles are unfolding and luck is on your side it's a celebration renewed enthusiasm victory yeah somebody could be meeting somebody at a social event a party going to a social event with a lover um but i'm definitely getting you and someone else being celebrated or celebrating together um and a lot of miracles being born with the all-seeing eye here 
somebody definitely is going to come towards you and um reveal their truth to you with keys to closed doors unlocking mysteries access to new experiences what was closed before is now open yeah it's even giving me like an energy of like if somebody was dealing with somebody before like an opportunity where you had your eye on somebody or vice versa or something that you wanted someone that was off limits before it's actually now you could go towards somebody because i'm feeling like um again it's like somebody is going through like an ending or a transformation a shift with taking action like somebody's going to be y'all not me cutting the deck at all the right cars taking action for movement willingness to do the work taking control of the situation if somebody was being like um inactive or they were just being pro they were procrastinating somebody's it's because they were cleaning up their life or they were getting a lot of shit in order for some of you guys this person is going to communicate they're about to communicate with you conversation needing to clarify something email a text message phone call yeah you finna hear from this person for some of you guys this is what you've been wanting and somebody definitely wants to like correct their mistakes or where they went wrong on a connection if you will let them Again, if people in the past made you feel like you were asking for too much, your standards were too high, or it, it's just because these people could not meet your expectations. You're going to be meeting people who are in your soul tribe now. And it says a loyal companion. And this is somebody who's loyal to you. For some of y'all, you have to let go of those unhealthy people or choices that you were making. People who could have been very materialistic or are just selfish. Again, somebody that you're going to meet is very possessive that keeps coming out. But I feel like it's not in a bad way. But you could have met karmic possessive energies in the past who were very possessive and wanted to change you and wanted to dim your light and hold you back. And at the same time, didn't want to be loyal, wanted to play the, play the field. I see you guys going to a very balanced energy. You're not reacting to the negativity the same. You're not phased by like energies that's coming in your life or certain tests that you're being tested with. Um, again, with the hand of fate, it's because you know that you're being guided by the divine. Many faded events are coming into alignment for you. It says a faded relationship is also significant forces beyond your control so you guys you have no control over this next like chapter that's happening in your life this ascension because it's actually i heard like it's bigger than you it's something about like your divine purpose you and a lover that's coming into like alignment you and this person could have had like major differences this could even be somebody who felt like you're not that usual type like oh that would, i wouldn't date somebody like that the whole time like you they person like somebody needs to get out of their own way i'm hearing because yeah bottled up somebody could be really keeping how they feel it says holding back pent up emotions what it came out in the beginning like this person is somebody who tends to like hold how they feel on the inside or they could come off with cool calm and collected but they feel a lot this person could feel a lot of emotions whether it's sad anger happiness love they just been holding back on how they really feel but i feel like after a while something is going to get too much to the point where they're going to reach out to you because this is a relationship that's meant to happen it's faded you both are going through a spiritual awakening definitely somebody's breaking free and blooming and connecting with their higher self one more so i close this reading out planetary vibes planetary influences celestial realms connection with the cosmos definitely you and this person have like a very i heard important connection with the cosmos significantly like for yourselves but to come together for what y'all are meant to do in this lifetime yeah like the realms are trying to get y'all are pushing you both together or the cosmos is like something about you both going through an awakening or unfolding towards your highest self right now you could be single focusing on yourself um but i do think i do see things coming to like um it's just given like through the the shifts or like the planetary changes that are going on you are going to meet this person i'll let that be the last card um some of you guys um refreshing new energy interesting and stimulating pleasantly different from the usual type something told me to pull one more peppermint cool peppermint energy like you're gonna be so freshy like refreshing like mint to somebody like a cool mint like it says pleasantly different from the usual type i just i heard loud and clear that you're not somebody's usual type or vice versa like say somebody likes thick people like, all i date is thick girls all i date is girls with like big asses and big titties. like and you you the exact opposite of that all i date is girls with 30 inch bust downs and you coming out with like natural hair locks uh, you just, and then somebody didn't even expect themselves to fall for somebody so like <coughs> her down to earth or like <coughs> they could go for usually excuse me <coughs> materialistic types type that looked apart types that somebody's going to find you to be very very different and at first i feel like they're going to kind of feel like okay this is not my type or like nah you know i'm good but the whole time for some reason they're not gonna be able to get you off their mind it's just something that's going to be drawing this person like to you guys wow ancient history ancestral karma guests from the ancestor somebody that you have a past life with and you're lighting the way for this person it's like you're this person's personal like spirit guide guide or helper in the spirit or in the physical whatever but somebody could see you as like a guy like you help them like you it says setting an example the light of their life setting strong you could even have to set boundaries with this person and it taught them alone a strong lesson or maybe just watching you was teaching them but you definitely share a past life with this person ancestral karma like gifts from the ancestors that are being passed down for the both of y'all i'm hearing gifts like you know how when you get married and people have like a gift table like i don't know why i'm seeing that 
like your ancestors could really like they already got shit set up for you and this person like it's given an inherent in it in inheritance so you do have a past life with this person and it's just, just giving like you guys are finishing past life business okay like this is something that's supposed to come around it's been supposed to be like yeah just understand i'm here honor the the contract honor the commitment there's something about you and this person honoring like the soul contract that you are meant to like come into like you're both meant to like honor okay so somebody's about to reach out to you i just see somebody communicating with you soon um some of y'all are like fed up so people can feel like you're hard to please at this time like you got like high expectations but i'm honestly hearing that's saving you from people who are not on your level that's saving you for people who could want to use you or like misuse you mistreat you abuse you or whatever the case may be they already know that like, not to play in your energy when they come in they already know like you ain't for the you ain't you ain't for none of that you ain't here I'm here i'm here for a fun time not a long time but you're here for like the longevity of it all and the fun of it all but you're not here to just have your time wasted now you know what i'm saying like somebody yeah you're not here to have your time wasted. i literally cut the cut the deck at wasting time you're not here to have your fucking time wasted as i said that you some of y'all was waiting on somebody to change or waiting on something that was inevitable or nothing good was gonna come out of it and it's just like sources trying to get you to see that like damn girl or boy or whatever we're pushing you in a new direction towards somebody that's actually you share a past life with this person somebody that you want to have like a lot of it says sexual chemistry here somebody may even be infatuated with you and they trying to hide it i i guess somebody really really like especially like lustfully I'm not getting in a way of like, yeah, some of y'all, I'm not gonna lie, they could be trying to like manifest you through their orgasms, but I'm getting like somebody is, their passion for you is consuming them. That's damn near what's gonna make them reach out. Like, I'm not saying it's just like, oh, they just want to have sex with you, but like somebody, and this could be somebody who's used to being by themselves. They used to being a loner, or like they used to kind of like, but you are somebody's like manifestation in human form. Somebody's power is being activated. Everything is about to flow for you smoothly, it's saying here, okay? And again, I feel like don't ask somebody with the empress here. Don't ask with you and this person going to have an unbreakable bond, strong and stable relationship, a love to last a lifetime. Yeah, they see you as the empress. And as this person could even be like, it could be a lot of like gossip. I don't know in the situation between you and this person or in their personal life, your personal life. But I get like something about somebody not needing to tell people either about this connection or like stop asking for advice about how you feel from people like that don't know how you feel about somebody else like somebody what should i do for this person that i love and like, this person don't know how you really feel and they, what if they tell you like don't do that and that's what you're supposed to be doing follow your own heart is what i'm getting like i don't know somebody needs to follow themselves follow their heart then this is somebody who fucking follows they don't even care for what other people have to say really this is somebody who usually they break the rules or they do they they follow like like you you could be somebody who's like a black sheep you do what you want to do you don't conform to other they're the same so i don't know it's like i'm just hoping that somebody don't listen to like other people when it comes to you because i see that you guys would be very much so justice for each other this would be like an equal give and take between you and this person that's what i'm seeing like you and this person could be like an old soul two old souls coming together like something about the timing this is this is coming in this is coming in because it's telling me um the timing with old souls and riches granted so this is coming in for some of you sooner than later. So I'm going to stop the reading there. We already got a little bit uh, over time that I wanted to go. Uh, this is a beautiful reading. Again, with the return here for some of you, this is somebody returning from a past life or this life. But it's not over. Um, it says returning home. This is somebody who sees you as their home with epiphany. This is somebody who could even be realizing in current time, like, damn, I love this person. Damn, like, that's my person. Damn, like, do I share a soul connection with that person? Damn, is that my soulmate? damn why can't i get them off my mind i'm feeling like somebody's about to take the risk on you like it could be tricky it could be risky it could be a little sca uh, scary but this is somebody who they're gonna see the truth in you and i feel like vice versa okay so <laughs> you guys i really have fun during this reading i just want to make sure i covered all my bases that there's nothing else that spirit really wants me to touch on i feel like that's it that's good that's great so you guys um i'll be back you know that's the reading like share and subscribe i love you guys